The Telegram newsroom in St. John's has gone through a lot of downsizing over the years, losing more than half its staff since the late 1990s. But the paper's top columnist says federal money isn't the solution. I just don't think it's the right solution. I think it carries the potential to do more harm to, cred to news industry's credibility than it does to actually do anything more than protect uh, existing systems in the short term. The government has asked eight unions and journalism groups to help decide who might qualify for federal support. But the plan to save journalism is making some journalists uneasy. You have people who are dead set against the government giving any kind of money to media. Uh, we've got some people who feel like something is necessary because it's important to keep news going. The CAJ represents more than 700 journalists across the country, and Pugliese has been hearing from many who are worried about how this looks. What they're concerned about is not uh, that they're going to suddenly give good coverage to the Liberals over the Conservatives because it's an election year and this money's coming. What they're concerned about is that people are going to think that. Unifor's role has become a flashpoint in this. It represents many journalists across the country, but its president, Jerry Diaz, has a good relationship with the prime minister. And the Unifor leadership has self-identified as stridently anti-conservative, which the conservatives are now using as a fundraiser, calling this money an election year media bailout package that is co-opting the media. Journalists that pay dues to Unifor are just like any of our other members who pay dues to Unifor or to other unions, and they have a perspective that's independent uh, of Unifor, and particularly where journalism is concerned, they have professional standards that they live up to every day. So, David, the Canadian Association of Journalists, the CAJ as it's called, has been invited, I guess, to advise the government on this, but we're now hearing that's maybe not going to happen, or... Yeah, it's certainly not certain. The board doesn't know yet what it's going to do. It's going to meet on Monday to decide if it'll accept the government's invitation. And Karen Pugliese tells me the CAJ just doesn't know what its final decision will be, but says they do have some conditions, that the funding process will have to be as transparent and as arm's length from the politicians as possible. Now, the government tells us that is their goal, though the details mm -hmm. haven't been sorted out. And, Rosie, one final point on Unifor, whose involvement in this is controversial. The union says it's happy to be involved at this stage to advise on the criteria for the funding, but when it comes to the process of deciding what media gets what money, the union says it should not be involved in that and it will not be involved in that. Okay. David Cochran in Ottawa with his story tonight. Thanks, David. You're welcome.